Good morning. This is a little bit of an introduction to using my virtual office hours. And I'm going to show you this from the instructor's point of view as well as from the student's point of view. So when I open up the office hours, I'll often put this slide up here just so students can see what's coming in. If for some reason you come in and you don't see me there, text me at this number and if I um, have been out for a while, sometimes it'll log me out and I'll make sure I get logged back in. Now for my physics students, I'm going to come over here and show you again how you can get to this from your course content. So in your course content, you can go ahead and click on this virtual office hours. And that's going to bring up this button here or the screen here. And I'm just going to call myself test student for this and join the session. It'll take just a little bit and it's saying that it's joining the session. Now over here in the professor view, I've said that I've got a student joining and it's letting me know that information. And at any point in time, I can see who's here, who's left so that I can monitor attendance that way. Once you're in, you'll see the same screen that I've got. If you need to get my attention, you can raise your hand. And from the professor's side, it lets me know who's raised their hand so I can ask them and clarify and answer their questions. When I'm done answering their questions, I can go ahead and click them off. And if there was another student, I'd be able to call on you in order. Now, if you want to chat, if you have a microphone, you can share your audio. If you're not talking or if there's a lot of background noise, we do ask that you mute your audio just so we're not all listening to your dog bark or the TV in the background, things like that. But if you have a question, you can do it that way. Or if you click on this panel down here, it opens up and you can chat and you can say, good morning. And we're not going to worry too much about spelling as long as we can understand. I have a question about problem three on the homework, etc. And as the professor, I can monitor these things. It'll pop them up in messages, but then I can go to the chat and I can follow that information. Now, as the professor, again, I can also change and I could bring up something like one of the equation sheets. In order to see that better, there's a little view controls and I can zoom in so I can see what's going on. Now flipping back over here to the test student, you notice it didn't zoom it in over here, but you have the same controls so you can zoom in and see what's going on on here. Again, as a professor, I can come in and I can type a message saying, use this constant and make a nice little arrow for what I want you to look at. As a student, you would see that pop up as I'm doing it. But the good collaborate thing here is that I can actually come in here and then type And as the professor, I would see that message as well. All of the students would actually see it. Now, on the student side, you don't have the eraser. Over here, if there gets to be too many messages, I can go ahead and erase. It takes everything off the screen. So that would clear things out. So these are some of the things that you can do. Again, if you've got audio, you can actually ask the question rather than type it on the screen. As long as we don't have too many students in the room, we should be able to communicate that way. I'm not really demonstrating that right now because I'm using my audio to record this video. And if I were to turn the audio on, we get a lot of feedback between me speaking in the video and it picking it up on Collaborate and hearing it on the speakers from the professor side it would get very complicated very quickly. 
So that gives you a little bit of an overview for what it looks like to be working in Collaborate, how you can ask questions, how you can answer questions, how you can put information up on the screen as we're working through on a session. If you have more questions, please ask. As the last thing I'll show you in this video, on your little message menu over here, when you're ready to leave, you can go ahead and just click Leave Session. You don't have to answer this. Um, you can skip it or you can say how good your stuff was during the call. And in the instructor session, it will let me know when a particular person has left the room.